Welcome to another play for fun or gaming for fun. My bad, a gaming for fun with uh, your host uh, Nathan Atkins. Oh snap! I got that a little too far today. Uh, what's up, guys? How are we doing? Uh, well, North Carolina's uh, <clears throat> excuse me. North Carolina's weather really boggles my mind. Uh, today it's pretty pretty decent outside. I did a little bit of running, and yes, uh, take uh, here's something that I don't say a lot about my blogs. Take breaks from your games. Go out and get some physical activities and stuff. You know, 60 minutes doesn't hurt. Doesn't kill nobody. Um, okay, so today we're in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I I wanted to do this game again uh, just because I want to see where we left off, where we uh, where we're gonna go to. Excuse me. I will, I will get, catch you up. I did do a little gameplay when I uh, when I was at blog, blogging, uh, but uh, we've got a uh, we've got a uh, we went to another world. We defeated one world and we picked uh, this one world uh, where it's a uh, uh, where Radiant Garden is. Right now, there's a lot of darkness going on. And I think we're about to head into the Tron world. If I want to be really specific on it, we're 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 about to hit the hit that Tron world. So that's how what we're gonna do today in this broadcast. I think I, I'm I'm very positive we're we're heading to the Tron world. But before we do that, let's get caught up with the Olympic count. Uh, right now, uh, the U.S. is not doing half bad, but right now Germany is kicking our tails. Uh, although the most metal count is Norway, yeah, uh, with nine metal counts, but, uh, for the gold, though, I think they're putting it in order of who's got the most gold. Um, uh, it's Germany with four, uh, ah, crap, uh, whoever, if y'all know these countries better than I do, bear with me. For heaven's sakes, bear, bear with me. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, the N E D, uh, the ones that's got the red, white, and blue horizontal. Uh, Norway comes in third of the gold medal count. Canadian comes in fourth, uh, and the U S comes around in the fifth. Which is not bad for the U.S. They've got a lot of medals. Uh, they got seven medals as well. 
and the U.S. team has been doing very well at this point. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any of the hockey stuff yet, so uh, I'm actually keeping an eye out for some of that stuff. Uh, that's the stuff that I want to keep track of, but haven't been doing it here in the last two, two to three days. Uh, and then ru running out the bottom, uh, or running at the bottom of the top five. Uh, number five is France with two gold medals. Uh, and uh, the reason we're, we're up above them is because we got uh, one silver and one bronze. They only got uh, two golds, no silvers, and one bronze. Uh, oh, snap. Uh, so... As the medal count is going, as far as right now, uh, this information will be probably updated as the Olympics go on. So, however, w the U.S. Olympics is doing very well. Way to go, guys. And uh, if anybody hasn't noticed in this broadcast yet, shout out to the U.S. team. You're going to do awesome. Y'all are already doing awesome, and y'all are just getting better. Uh, because the U.S. team... Uh, if, if you're not, if you have another nationality and you're supporting that team, by all means, that's fine. Uh, however, if you're living in the U.S. and the U.S. has been pretty darn good to you, you need to support our teams, especially in the Olympics. Um, uh, because the Olympics is where our, we can shine without, without bloodshed. Uh, we can show that our nation is great athletically wise and i think we're doing a fantastic job right now again this has only been the third day of the olympics uh we have a whole two weeks left uh that we we still got to go play through so these medal counts can change keep in mind but as of right now our u.s olympic teams are doing an outstanding job they're in there for fight and they're they're going in headstrong and uh guys y'all are doing amazing okay so u.s olympic team go man go y'all have spent four years of training for this event or for your events and y'all do y'all's best there should be no regrets because y'all actually made it to the olympics okay so more power to you people and uh look man i'm telling you right now i, I go run for a living I, I like the tracks the summer olympics but i'm telling you right now olympic is far, far far away from me right now i'm 27 years old i've gained a belly if i if i do extreme training i might and uh i might can get back into that but let's face it guys i probably won't be doing no more of these broadcasts no more unless it's like at the very late at night um uh, but uh yeah, guys, uh, more power to y'all, people. Uh, I I'm telling you, you, you Olympiads, uh, you, you put our nation on a good high standard. And uh, I just want to say again, I appreciate every uh, Olympian uh, from the U.S. that wants to support the U.S. And uh, y'all are doing a miraculous job right now. So I want to thank y'all for being there. And if no, if you think nobody cares about the Olympics, hey, I'm one of them. I I care for it. Those sports, period. Uh, so the U.S. is doing very well. We are in the top five at number four, so in the medal count. Uh, so we are doing we're doing very very good. Uh, we're not doing too perilously poor. Um, we're not at the bottom of the charts. But again, let me rephrase this again. This metal count will probably change over the week or two. So, keep it up, U.S. Still shoot for that number one uh, gold medal count. Get as many goals as y'all can. And uh, congrats on every American Olympi uh, Olympic uh, Olympiad or whatever you call them. Uh, good job. That's a lot of hard work to get there. And uh, congratulations just to make it on Olympics. And congratulations to all the guys who and girls who got medals, uh, gold medals for the U.S. to get us to that point. So keep pushing, keep trying, and, uh, and don't forget, have fun. And yes, the Olympics are games. So 
hence the word gaming for fun even for you guys don't take the fun out of running or don't take the fun out of competing okay still have that fun still have that drive yes you can compete for first place but don't lose the fun in it that is the only thing I can say I haven't been there outside of that and I know y'all make friends over there while y'all over there so again don't forget to have fun while you're playing and gaming and yes I consider it as a game unlike what I'm doing now okay enough about the Olympics and uh, the information uh, we do got a couple of gaming information that I do want to uh, uh, talk about before we start gaming as well. Okay, so tomorrow's the 13th, and I, I've heard a lot of people's ready for this game. Uh, Destiny Warriors. Uh, Warriors 9. Destiny Warriors 9 uh, is coming out tomorrow. Also, along with Kingdom Kingdom Come Deliverance, I have no idea what that is. Uh, also coming out tomorrow is Monster Energy uh, Supercross. Okay, that's a motorcycle game. That's a given. Uh, is coming out for all you gearheads out there. Uh, Rainbow uh, Rainbow Six Siege Advance ED Edition. And the complete edition of Rainbow Seal Sim 6 is also coming out tomorrow. <gasps> Two more games and I'll be done. South Park Sticks of Truth. Uh, not a real big fan of, uh, uh, of that at all. South Park. South Park needs to be canceled for all that I could say about it. Because that is the stupidest cartoon. Even for adults. Very, very stupid. Um... Uh, But again, that's just my opinion, okay? Uh, uh, also coming out tomorrow, my last game, uh, Wonder Boy Dragon, Dragon's Trap. Uh, again, I have no idea what that game's about. I, I really didn't look up that much information on it, but it, it, sounds, it sounds like one of those games is going to be under the radar uh, because of the major titles that's coming out tomorrow. So guys, uh, those are your games that is specifically coming out tomorrow. Um, the rest of this month is The Secret of Mana G6 Excel. Uh, it's coming out on the 15th. Uh, Metal Gear Survival, the 20th. Uh, Pass Cure, the 23rd. And my favorite game that's also coming out on the 23rd that we just cannot wait for. Uh, well, we, I mean, Kingdom Hearts fans, we pretty much used to waiting forever for Kingdom Hearts 3. But Sword Art fans, your Sword Art Final or Fatal Bullet is coming out the 23rd. And the 23rd, that is a Friday. I am taking that whole weekend and I am going to play the crap out of that game. Uh, I still have to go to work that Friday, but still. After I get off of work, that is definitely going to be my game to play. And I'm going to, like, play that game until the disc dies. Uh, because you can... Alright, I can, I can safely say this, and we'll stop there for today. Uh, the Sword Art Final Bullet, uh, or Fatal Bullet, you can go around with guns like normal. Hey, if that's your playstyle, by all means, do it. But for me, I'm getting the Proton Sword that is like a Jedi Sword in this game. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that like crazy. Uh, but that's enough information about that today. I'm, I'm wasting too much time. We're going to go into Kingdom Hearts 2 right now. Uh, the final, final mix. And uh, we're actually going to start... Uh, uh, Start where I told y'all at the beginning of this video, uh, where we left off. Uh, the, th the thing is, uh, uh, about the Kingdom Hearts saga, I mean, they did a real good job with the uh, fillers and stuff, and me personally, I got confused from one to two anyway, so those fillers kind of like helped me out to explain what's going on in Kingdom Hearts 2, and the fillers that they did for, for uh, uh, the fillers of what they've done for that's breaching the gap from two 
to three. I think they did a very good job on it. I know what's going on now. I'm not going to be too darn confused. Because as we can tell, Sora's got a lot of people stuck in his heart. Uh, and uh, some of them went back, some of them did not. Uh, so, I mean... So we're, st we're still wondering what uh, some of these people have to deal with Sora. Uh, uh, because there's a few of them. Okay, yeah, I understand, we know. But there's a few of them. There's a few of them that I really don't see how he's connected to Sora. So it, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Sora is going to be. Uh, you know what, guys? Give me a second. We're going to move my uh, uh, my picture screen here. Uh, I should I should have known known this before I before I. I did this. Um, so sorry, guys, on that. Okay, there we go. I know it's gonna look funny, me looking up and all this, but this is where because I need to keep track of my health and all that. Sorry, sorry for that, guys. This is gonna be freaking weird. Uh, <laughs> Hey, some people might run through these and I usually do but I need to level up a little bit so uh, taking time of actually going through and defeat some of these bad guys is not necessarily a bad idea uh, and that's for any RPG games, and I think Kingdom Hearts, for me, was the first RPG that people don't count as an RPG, uh, just because you're, you're not, you're not, uh, I don't know, I think it's a role-playing RPG, role-playing, uh, to me, I think this was the best game ever made, I mean, seriously. Who cannot love Kingdom Hearts after playing it like the first time? Uh, oh crap. Should we go help down? I don't think so. Did we get him? Oh, okay. No, we didn't. Okay, there we go. Get some cash. Get all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So... We're, we're doing... I'm just trying to level up a little bit because I know where we're going and that level is like a pain in my butt for some odd reason. Okay, fine man, thanks for the shortcut. Uh, that's gonna get exploded here soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
She loves. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, cause she. Yes, that is from Mikey from Ninja Turtles. I have seen the new Ninja Turtles that uh, di uh, Nickelodeon wants to come out with, and I think they're doing that just to screw up, screw with everybody. I do not like the new changes at all. Uh, wh while I'm playing through this, and I know this is an important part for every game for everybody, uh, but uh, the Ninja Turtles, man, it, it's like they want to change everything that uh, that people just likes. I mean, and that's and it's not it's not just Nickelodeon either. It's Marvel's bad for that too. Along with uh, DC, uh, the problem with those two is they've got enough of superheroes to make new ones, but yet they want to change the old superheroes to benefit everybody else. I don't like that at all, and uh, I'll shut up for this video if it's going to be a video. Okay, so we're about to go see Mickey as well. Okay. So she's telling us where to go. I already know where. Okay, I get it. It's right there. I gotta walk down the steps. Blah, blah, blah. I'm also gonna take the time of getting these. Treasure bin. Map of the area, which is always good. I'm also gonna take this time and saving after I get this puzzle piece. Saving is the best part before you go to any big adventure. That way you can try and try again if you die. And that just saves you a buttload of walking. Need to get super jump first. Darn it. Oh, eat yo, look, it's Stitch. We found Stitch. Stitch is right there. Okay, so, as everyone knows, this is a big ol' maze. Uh, if you just watch the video, I think y'all can probably figure out this pretty easy. Uh, I've already been in here a couple times just because I played this game like crazy on the PlayStation 2. Until uh, my PlayStation 2 broke, really. Okay, so I got to level 25. I think I'm just gonna bypass everything. Uh, I 
Okay, I think this is where we need to be. Nope. Where's that video? Huh. I thought there was a video there, but okay. This is where we're gonna see uh Gorge, that one lady. Yes, this must be his room. Master King. Hello. Hey, you. Yep. Final Fantasy fans, there you go. I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? Spikier. I'll just take a look around. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. No, no bother, bother him. him. Nobody's gonna ask why she was there. I mean, she... so you made it, Leon. Let's open this first, then approach Leon. Touched the wrong spot. <laughs> uh. Okay, so yep, my theories and hunches this are correct. It. We're going Where's into Tron's Kyrie? world. Where's Riku? Easy. You want to break it? Oh, sorry. Guess I got a little carried away. Wow! Huh? There's still two. Wow! Ah. Oh. Get off of me! Ha ha ha! Attention, current user. This is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defensive action. Who's there? I am the master control program. I oversee this system. Where are you? Donald! I'm sorry! Decision gate breached. You are now under arrest. Arrest? Okay. Uh, just so everybody knows, when Kingdom Hearts 2 was made, the only Tron world that existed was the first one. Uh, they do have the second world Tron of Tron, and it's a whole lot better. Go on, Jomu's boss! Who are you? I am Commander Sark. 
A heartless commander? Hmm. Observe. Okay, you're the boss. I get it. Okay, so we're trapped, pretty much. Uh, we're in prison. Yep, prison. Man, Life hit a new what low. What kind of world is this anyway? You're inside a mainframe computer system. A what system? A computer system for processing data. This system is a copy of one created by a corporation called ENCOM. The original program was destroyed. But this copy was acquired by another user. The new user updated and customized the programs, renaming the system Hollow Bastion OS. He used the system for town maintenance and to advance his private research. My name is Tron. I'm a security program. But now I'm under arrest. Same as you. Did you guys get any of that? Gorge! You know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. I'm Sora. And I'm Tron. Nice to meet you, Tron. Well, I'm Goofy. With that configuration, you must be users. Users? You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP will do to you? MCP? The Master Control Program. It controls the whole system. If you idle here, you will be derezzed. Derezzed? So, how do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. But the MCP cut the power 50 microcycles ago. If we could bring the energy core in the canyon online, we could power it back up. The problem is, we're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Unlock? Hey, that's my specialty, the Keyblade. Unlocking doors is no problem. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. Acknowledged. Okay, for one, I think I'm glad I'm not living in a computer. Okay, so. Rub ups. Uh, okay. So, our goal is to go and fix. Power. So we're about to go do that. It's not that hard. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the blocks. It's gonna okay. be the hard part. And uh, I've forgotten. I've got a new Keyblade. Uh, 
Um. <laughs> So guys, uh, after fin finish watching that story, you know what we're doing. We're gonna go and try to get uh, this power turned back on to that terminal. And if memory serves, it is in this room. That missing square is gonna bite me in the butt. This is the energy core. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get this power up, and I think that's it for the broadcast. I'm trying to shorten it down just a little bit. Ha. Yes. Yes. Crap. See, okay. Keep an eye on it. Disappeared. Where is it at? Are you kidding me? Ah. Yes. Seriously? Come on! Seriously? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. This is freaking retarded. Seriously, come on. Jeez Louise. So, we finally got that down. Hallelujah. Terminal is back on the week. Yes, what do you get? You helped us, so now it's our turn.
big words. Let's hurry back to the panels though. Okay. So we're back in the cell, we're about to get out of this world. So, what did you want us to do? Find my user. He'll give you the password to access the DTD. You're back! So, um... DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. A number of my be surprised were who he is. I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually. I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? You mean you don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Ansem the Wise. Ansem! Looks like the MCP's onto us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. Sure, but Tron, Ansem is... Okay, you're good to go. Hurry! <laughs> uh, we killed him already in part one, or so we thought. We did it! We sure did! Where have you been? Well, uh, it's hard to explain. There is a world inside the computer. <sighs> what? Uh, programs live? Guess I better take another look around. Does anybody has anybody seen her passcode? She just won't give up. And neither will we. <laughs> Come on, we've gotta look for that password. Alright. We made a promise to Tron, even though we killed the guy that he thinks is still alive. Excuse Sorry for me? drinking, guys. Uh. Ah. 
Not everything has to be answered by using your fist. <sighs> but I think you might have helped us out. What's this doodle? Hello. Man. Security. Crab. Door two. Looks like a diagram or something. Door two. Thomas. Oh. D. T. D. 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 What's up? Look at this. This must be the data space. The DTD. See? The door to darkness. What do you know? But that still leaves the password. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Yo, your majesty, what's majesty. up, sir? Family oh, reunion. Time to see. Shh. The organization might be listening. You mentioned the door to darkness? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. Password? Oh, I guess you mean like a code. Well, the door to darkness can only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and Belle. Of course. What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Stop joking around, Your Majesty. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Looks like I've got a lot of explaining to do. Well, this is Your Majesty. Okay, but first I've got a question. Hey, isn't Tron waiting for you guys? Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If those Heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise. I'll see you when you get back. Okay, sorry for not talking while that. I kind of like watching the videos of that. Uh, here we go with uh, some more talk. Careful now, man. We got this. Okay, so hold on. Ooh, finally the master form. Ah, oh, I've been waiting for that one forever. Okay, no, we'll we'll do the master form as soon as I get in a big, big trouble. Uh, that's gonna be it for this. Uh, this broadcast, uh... Yes, we got stuck! I think. Yes, we got stitch. We got stitching! We got stitching, people! I don't do that much summonings in Kingdom Hearts, especially when it came to Kingdom Hearts 2. However, we we will do some summonings as soon as I uh, remember how. Never mind, I figured it out. Uh, so we're gonna just save it here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we'll get we'll get into that. Uh, uh,
uh, that part of the series. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm gonna shift my uh, my camera back to the uh, normal spot. And uh, because this is my favorite spot to put in, putting on the camera. Uh, but guys, uh, th that is our Kingdom Hearts broadcast for today, uh, for today's episode. And, uh, you know, like I said uh, at the beginning of the videos, uh, the Olympics team, uh, they're doing a fantastic job, the U.S. team. Our medal count can can do a little ver improvement, but that, that will change on the week. We get, Like I said, we got two whole weeks of this Olympic thing still going on. Uh, so, I mean... Come on, guys. We can do this. We can... Uh, we can do this. Yeah. Uh, go USA. All the way. Uh, so, guys. Uh, but like, uh, like I said, this is the near the end of our broadcast for today. And uh, i just like to say thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to comment down below. And uh, don't forget to comment... And subscribe. I know I'm a little boring. I'm trying to make these as fun as possibly can. But even I have this gamer mortality where I just want to sit and play games. So I'm still learning to, to, to talk and explain these games uh, ever so often. But guys, let me just say, if anybody... If... if oh, I, I forgot about this. If anybody wants to know... A, the best Reddit E game that they could ever play. This would be it. Uh, Kingdom Hearts has been a very, very intelligent game for me. I, I love this game. I will get so into this when I was little that uh, my heart will literally stop a couple times when when my character dies. It's it's funny, uh, but. Uh, this, this game has been really good. Um, I will recommend this game to anybody who asks. Uh, this game is like one of the, the best games ever. <laughs> and uh, in my opinion, uh, Kingdom Hearts has always been top the number one until it moved down to number two when Sword Art Online came out, came out uh, with their games. Uh, but again, let's just be honest, we've been waiting for ages, about a century and four years. Uh, a century and four years for Kingdom Hearts 3. Even though we do have a, a release date for that game for December 31st, any true gamer knows that's just the release date they gave to everybody so we can pre-order it. Will it come out on that day? Who knows? I mean, shoot, they can back it up another year and we're going to be like super PO'd uh, for uh, all of us Kingdom Hearts fans. It's You're talking about stressful and really, do we really? Guys, Kingdom Hearts guys, do we? you're really going to make us fans wait another year? I mean, for heaven's sakes already, give us the game. Uh, I need to see what happens to Sora and Kyrie specifically. Here's the reason I say that. A lot of pe I've been seeing a trend that a lot of people have been going on to these uh, uh, couple fans in other series. And any Kingdom Hearts fan... fan can tell you this is true Sora and Kairi is gonna end up together okay but here's the problem with that you have Riku going after her uh, as well we all know Kairi likes Sora though okay that is a given okay and uh, Kairi and Sora needs to hurry up give their first kiss and actually 
consider dating uh, or here's what I would like to have and I know it's not gonna be in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 at all do away with Donald and Goofy and just uh, have you and Kyrie play together it would make me so freaking happy because Kyrie might actually heal you better than Donald and she might be just as strong as Goofy uh, but that is just me I want Sora and Kyrie to hurry up tie the knot because I, I'm getting frustrated of when games take this long to make uh, and they're not ending up together at all yet and yet we're still we're still waiting uh, we're still waiting on that initial you know go ahead get Get together, get married for... You know what, don't even get married. As long as you give her a ring or propose to her or something, just do it already. Um, it's been 13-odd years, people. We've been waiting for this, okay? And then uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, which the gameplay looks pretty amazing. And we're going in Disney's Pixar's worlds in, in this game. Uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3, which is kind of awesome in a way. The only two worlds that I'm going to be very, very disappointed in is Tangled and uh, Frozen. Okay. I've been hearing a lot of rumors. We haven't seen any gameplay from Frozen yet. So I might get lucky and not have to play with uh, Olaf yet and Elsa and all them, which is good. Don't want it there. But... A lot of a lot of gamers might think it's okay to get in there, you know. Uh, if it's in there, I'll play through it. If it's not, yay! Uh, and here's another one: we still haven't seen any gameplay. If they are going to create a Star Wars world, and crank, frankly, I think you guys had enough of time to put that in there. I will very be I will really be disappointed if you do not put Star Wars in there. I mean, you can fit that to a T, especially with all the Star Wars. You you could put that in between planets or something. Uh, do me a favor though, guys. If y'all can make it like in between or like right there at the end or in the middle of the Clone Wars, that way we can see, like, uh, Anakin, Ahsoka, Anakin going to the to the dark side, and Ahsoka will have a little bit more role in it, which would be nice. That's just my opinion. Comment at the bottom if you think that's a good idea. And get this uh, video out to the Kingdom Hearts fans and let tell them watch the end of this video because that might be they might need to watch it just so we can get it get a good good read on it. However, like I've said, we're still waiting December 31st. That's pretty much a whole nother year in our case. Uh, so we don't know when exactly Kingdom Hearts is going out. Like I, But like I said, December 31st, they put a release date on just for uh, us to pre-order it. I'm going to have this game paid off in the next three months, though, guys. This is, this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, and yes, mention of pre-orders. If you want to pre-order any of the games that I have mentioned before at the beginning of the broadcast, GameStop is your best bet to pre-order any games, get your titles, and power-ups for points members. Uh, you can get points for getting your games, and uh, I'm thinking that they still do 10 points per dollar. So 300 points, you do the math. $300, you do the math, 40 bucks, do the math, uh, 40 bucks, for 400 points, which is not bad if they still do that, I haven't, I haven't checked on that in years, but GameStop is the best place to get pre-order games on games that are coming out, uh, especially, uh, I'm only gonna say one game at the end of this video, and half of you YouTubers have seen, have watched, this uh, broadcast at any point in time you know exactly what game I'm gonna be saying and it's Sword Art Final Bullet uh, that's coming out on the 23rd 
Now that is two days before the Olympics end. Uh, so everyone, I'm gonna I'm getting hungry and I doubt people would love to see me eat while we're doing these broadcasts. So to everyone out there, have a God blessed day and let and uh, try to have a good work week. And uh, if, if anybody thinks that I'm just a walking YouTube blogger, yeah, right. Uh, I got a job too. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll see y'all next time. And uh, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment at the bottom. I will get with you in the comments. Uh, just, uh, just please uh, do me a favor. Just watch some of my videos. Give me a few pointers, actually. I would love to actually have a few good pointers uh, on how to do these broadcasts better uh, to get people watching. Uh, as of right now, you can probably tell I'm boring as such. Uh, again, guys, don't forget to game for fun. That's the only way to play games, man, is game for fun. Uh, so please, by all means, uh, game, have fun, don't diss anybody that badly, uh, and, uh, yeah, just go out there and have fun. And don't forget, 60 minutes to play outside, as soon as I figure out how to do some broadcasts, uh, on, uh, on YouTube on my computer, I'm also gonna broadcast some of the sports and games outside of your computer screen, because people mistake gaming for fun just being for video games uh, here on the PlayStation computers uh, but no nah, gaming gaming uh, a gamer to me is an all-around gamer outside of the computer screen and all the way uh, in the computer screen and outside playing football hockey uh, baseball racquetball any game that you can play that's what I can, can consent as a gamer like uh, your Olympic sports or your Olympic games all those Olympiads are gamers to me still because they're playing a game and they're winning or they're trying to win a game that's just how I look at it so guys if you like playing video games more than going outside and exercise just take that 60 minutes to do some stretches get physical run, walk, it doesn't really matter. Just have that 60 minutes of play and it'll do you good. Again, guys, thank you for watching and uh, everyone just have a God-blessed day. Uh, don't tell me that you didn't hear me on the rest of that. Okay, battery level's low. Everyone, have a God-blessed day.